trying to cut back on our water usage, especially when we boondock. Uh, it's not such a big deal, you know, when you have full hookups. But uh, when you boondock, if you're like me, you don't like going back into town um, or hooking up and going wait in line to dump your, uh, you know, black or gray water tanks and uh, filling your tank back up. So I told Laura, I said, we're going to do what Adventure Van Man did a couple of years ago, and that's get one of these little two-gallon pump sprayers and use it to shower with. Okay, we, we got that, and also Lori picked up uh, a little one-quart pump sprayer. It has adjustable no nozzle on the end of it. I guess you, you probably originally use it for watering your plants and stuff, but uh, she found out that she can wash dishes and save money by rinsing it with this little one-quart pump sprayer uses a lot less water because uh, when you start washing dishes you know the regular way it uses a whole lot of water and when you take a shower it uses even more water well you're saying well David you're not getting clean uh, with that little pump sprayer as a shower oh yes you are in fact we tried it last night um, and between Lori and I taking a real good shower Washing our hair, which, you know, when you're trying to rinse all the soap out of your hair, especially if you got long hair, it takes a lot of water. All right, we used right at three gallons for both of us and got a really good shower. So what I did was pump this thing up. You know, we put warm water in there to get it the temperature you want. Pumped it up and stuck it in the shower and use it, you know, like a regular shower nozzle. And it worked really well. Now, I'm going to go one step further with it. Uh, this is something that Adventure Van Man also did. Uh, he realized that, you know, that little thin nozzle is not really good. But I'm going to modify it. I'm going to take the outdoor shower head and the hose and um, fit it onto the pump sprayer hose. That way you have, you know, a, a wider shower spray and you can cut it off on and off right there, you know, with a little button that's on your outdoor shower head. So that's the next thing, and that ought to work real good. Uh, when the pressure starts getting low, just pump it up a couple times, and there you go. But yeah, uh, we used about three gallons for both of us, and that when we boondock, this is boondocking, not hooked up full time on. You know, you got full hookups uh, like an RV park or a campground. But I said, you know, this is going to cut back on our water usage. We won't have to make as many trips to uh, empty our tanks. We we'll won't have to make as many trails to fill up with water. It's going to be nice. <laughs> now that cuts out some of the aggravation, have them wait in line and have people behind you. You know, you're trying to hurry and get your stuff dumped and get back to where you're going. But And hooking up and unhooking, re-leveling everything if you have to, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay. But, you know, the Blue Boy does help. Blue Boy, uh, I can uh, empty the tanks into Blue Boy, and you still got to drive down to the place where you're going to dump the dang thing. And uh, but nevertheless, you're still going to have to dump. But maybe this will cut down on some of the the trips. It'll cut down on a lot of trips for, uh, as far as uh, water usage goes. But still, you want to conserve as much. Well, we do. We want to conserve as much to cut down as much cost and as the mileage put on the vehicle. So that's what I'm trying to get out. If this is something that uh, you're interested in, uh, you can get those little uh, two-gallon pump sprayers at Walmart or uh, hardware stores anywhere, and you can adapt uh, the shower head to go on that thing. So you have a little bit extra long hose, and you have a bigger shower spray, and uh, you know, like I said, you can cut it on and off with the shower head, so it's no problem. And uh, pressure gets low, just psh, pump it back up. And not only will this save water, it also saves battery use because your pump in your RV is not running. So if you're off grid and using solar power, this helps conserve the battery usage as well. So it's a win-win-win. And uh, the little uh, one-quart pump sprayer that Laura uses in the kitchen is a lifesaver. I mean, it works very well. Uh, it cuts back on a lot of the water going into the, the sink. Which has, you know, like I said, washing dishes also uses a lot of water. As far as laundry, for boondocking, yeah, I probably have to go to town, you know, to, uh, to do laundry. Even though we do have one of them little uh, washing machines that fits in the RV and works very well. But nevertheless, I thought I'd pass that along to you guys. Uh, you find it useful, great. Uh, let me know. Uh, that's one way that we're trying to cut back on our trips and uh, save money, save time, mileage. Uh, 
that way we can stay out in the woods longer which i love instead of going to town and fighting the traffic and uh, getting water thought i'd just pass that tip along to you hope you find it helpful if you do let me know and uh, as always stay safe stay healthy uh, use common sense until next time enjoy rvn take care god bless